Welcome to Watermelon. In the world of show business, talent shines bright, but often it's the allure of appearance that captures the spotlight. In the pursuit of perfection, many stars turn to plastic surgeons seeking to enhance their looks to fit an idealized image. But sometimes, this quest for the quote, perfect appearance leads to unexpected and dramatic results. Madonna, the queen of pop, has long been known for her commitment to a healthy lifestyle. Her rigorous fitness routines and disciplined diet are as legendary as her music career. From yoga to strict dietary regimes, Madonna's dedication to wellness has set a standard in the entertainment industry. However, even she is not immune to the passage of time. Despite her best efforts, the natural aging process is something that even stars like Madonna could not completely escape. In recent years, there has been some speculation about Madonna's use of plastic surgery. However, it was her appearance at the 2023 Grammy Awards that sparked widespread conversation. She looked completely unrecognizable. Everyone thought she was probably swollen from a recent procedure. In response, Madonna accused everyone of misogyny and ageism, denying the use of plastic surgery. Despite her denials, Professional plastic surgeons have pointed out a number of changes in Madonna that could only be achieved through cosmetic surgery. These include a brow lift as her eyebrows appear higher, facial filters, eyelid corrections, and Botox injections around their eyes. Her famous beauty mark above the lip seems to have been lightened. Beyond Botox, she likely received multiple filler injections as her cheeks appear much fuller. Madonna's nose also underwent a noticeable transformation, becoming more refined and pointed. Lip contouring surgery has altered her lips, leaving them unnaturally shaped. In the summer of 2023, Madonna postponed her tour due to a bacterial infection. She spent several days in the hospital, and after her recovery, she once again appeared noticeably different. In the 1980s, Mickey Rourke was one of Hollywood's leading sex symbols. He was paid astronomical fees, and producers lined up for the chance to have him star in their films. However, Rourke struggled to cope with the fame and the immense pressure that came with it. He turned to alcohol and drugs. His life became a series of scandals. Disillusioned with Hollywood, he looked for an escape. Boxing became his salvation. In the 60s and 70s, as a teenager, Rourke seriously pursued boxing, which helped him manage his anger. He fought in 30 matches, winning 27 of them. However, due to a concussion, he was forced to give up boxing. In the 1990s, Rourke returned to the boxing ring. His opponents weren't outstanding fighters, but they were professionals, significantly younger than the 40-year-old actor. Despite that, Rourke went undefeated in eight fights, with six wins and two draws. The fights helped Rourke battle depression, but they brought new problems. Rourke suffered multiple injuries, concussions, a repeatedly broken nose, compressed cheekbones, and even split tongue. Seeking to restore his appearance, Mickey turned to plastic surgery. The result was five surgeries on his nose alone and one for his shattered cheekbone. Cartilage from his ear was used to reconstruct his nose, followed by several more surgeries as the tissue struggled to heal properly. To correct the unsuccessful surgeries, he underwent additional procedures, but things only worsened. As a result, today he looks like a completely different person with a swollen and disproportionate face, inflated lips, and a lack of natural facial expressions. During the 1980s, Hang Myo Koo was regarded as one of the most beautiful women in South Korea. Thanks to her natural beauty, she became a well-known model featuring in campaigns for numerous Korean brands. As she approached her 30s, Hung became increasingly concerned about her appearance. At 28, she decided to undergo her first plastic surgery. Then, Hong relocated to Japan where she continued to seek surgical enhancements. Miyoku quickly developed an addiction to plastic surgery, constantly seeking to enhance her appearance. Her main goal was to attain flawless facial features and very smooth skin. However, at a certain point, doctors began to refuse her further surgeries due to the high risks involved. But it didn't stop Miyoku. The woman began to self-inject silicone, which she acquired from the black market. Soon, Hong Miyoku found herself running out of money. Each new procedure diminished her natural beauty, leading to fewer modeling opportunities and financial struggles. Yet, the woman refused to acknowledge the damaging consequences. She became addicted to the injections. 
In a desperate move, she even started injecting herself with cooking oil. And as a result, Miyoku's face became grotesquely swollen. Her skin was covered with scars and peeling. Hong's appearance altered so drastically that even her own parents couldn't recognize their daughter. Her tragic case was highlighted on TV, and thanks to donations, she underwent several surgeries to remove foreign substances. Her head size was reduced, but to this day, the woman remains disfigured. Pete Burns was the lead vocalist of the popular 1980s band Dead or Alive. Burns confessed to having undergone plastic surgery procedures around 300 times. This led to deep depression and nearly cost him his life. However, Burns vowed to never stop undergoing surgery in the pursuit of physical perfection. His obsession with changing his looks began with his fame. This was during the time when his hit You Spin Me Round topped the music charts. Back then, Burns decided to fix his broken nose. He was once headbutted in Liverpool, and the nose went over to one side. This initial surgery went wrong and was followed by a series of procedures to correct the aftermath. Included were four nose jobs, two sets of cheek implants, and lip plumbing. The last turned disastrous too. The filler injected into his lips spread across his face. Receiving a compensation of 450,000 pounds, Pete attempted to fix the issue with more surgeries. Over two years, he underwent the surgeon's knife more than 200 times. During this time, the musician fell into severe depression. At one point, Pete was hospitalized as the vast amount of medication severely impacted his health. Clots formed in the singer's legs, heart, and lungs. Despite these serious health setbacks, Pete remained undeterred in his quest for aesthetic enhancement. Zac Efron rose to fame as a teen idol, celebrated for his good looks and charming persona. He became a heartthrob for millions around the world, known for his roles in hit movies and his strikingly handsome features. Efron was the epitome of Hollywood's golden boy, with a career that only seemed to be going upwards. However, in 2021, a significant change in his appearance sparked widespread speculation and concern among his fans. His unnaturally pronounced cheekbones and jawline, along with a puffy facial appearance, shocked everyone. Zack had his own explanation for the change. In 2013, the actor slipped at home and smashed his chin on a granite fountain. The impact was so severe that he suffered a jaw fracture. Zack resorted to jaw wiring, and after recovery, his jaw muscles increased in size. It sounds like the truth, doesn't it? However, many, including medical professionals, believe that there was more to it than just jaw surgery. They observe a transformation from a stern, masculine look to a softer, more surprised expression, possibly due to Botox around the eyebrows. His face appears puffier and fuller, losing its chiseled contours in favor of a more feminine oval shape, suggesting the use of facial and cheek fillers. Additionally, his lips seem to have enlarged over time, hinting at possible lip fillers, which is unusual as lips typically thin with age. Some even suggest that his swollen appearance might be a result of testosterone replacement therapy, a type of anabolic steroid legally prescribed by doctors. Ultimately, the full truth may remain elusive, as the actor continues to deny any procedures beyond the jaw surgery. Thanks for staying with us all the way to the end. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more content. See you in the next one!